Today we are making two step pulley car. Here we have the base with the wheels, the battery or the power source with the switch, the motor and here you can see the speed reducer mechanism. From this small drive pulley to this large one is our first gear and from this axle to the wheels is the second gear. The same is on the other side, from here to the wheels. The car runs very fast. Here you can see the parts we'll be using in assembly. Here are the parts for the base. These are the parts for the wheels, the motor mounting piece, the holder for the gear mechanism, the large and the small pulleys, and the battery, the motor, the axles and the elastic bands. We'll begin the assembly by making the base. It consists of two parts. Here we have some pre-drilled holes. Remove the adhesive tape backing from the insert. Place this part in the middle and first attach the one side, then the other. To prevent this piece from coming apart, we'll make several holes using the pre-drilled holes on the base as our guides. Be very careful. Insert two clips on each side. Now we can attach the battery. Remove the adhesive backing and place the battery on either end of the car. It should be centered. Make sure that the contacts on the battery are facing towards the center of the base. Now it is time to attach our motor mount part. Remove the adhesive backing and place it here, right in the center. Make some holes on each side and insert the clips. we can insert our motor, but beforehand we will place a pulley with a smaller opening on its shaft. This pulley is called a drive pulley. Now we are going to attach the holder for the gear axle. Remove the adhesive backing and place this part just like so. Again, securing it with several clips. Next we are going to assemble our large pulleys, one here and the two for the wheels. We are going to use this small device to help us in the assembly. First, place this large disc on the pin. Then remove the adhesive backing from the small disc and place it on top, adhesive side down. Press firmly. Next, again, remove the adhesive backing and place the second larger disc over. Carefully remove it 
from the pin and repeat the same steps for the other two pulleys. Here we have our three pulleys. We also have two small pulleys. It is time to assemble our wheels. We'll start with the front one. Take the axle and place one bead on its tip. Take one hub. Here is the bead, the hub and the wheel. Insert the dowel into the hub, adhesive side up, and carefully, holding your fingers close to the hub, slide it down. Check that it's straight. Now remove the adhesive backing from the hub. And carefully put on the wheel. Press firmly. And now you can check if it's straight. Now we can place the other hub over the wheel. Remove the adhesive backing and carefully holding your fingers close to the hub, slide it down. Again, check that it's straight. Here we're going to put two beads. You can use this rigid tube to help us slide the beads down. Hold your fingers close to the bead. Now we can insert this axle into the base on the end with the battery. Check that the axle rotates freely and place two more beads on this side, but make sure you leave a gap between the wall and the bead. If it's too tight, the axle will not spin. Now we can put the hub, adhesive side out. Carefully slide it down. You can also place the hub on first and then remove the back. One more hub with the adhesive side facing the wheel. And finish it off with one more bead. Now we're going to make the driving axle. Take the dowel and put on one bead. Then just like before we'll put on the first hub, adhesive side up. Remove the adhesive tape backing and slide the wheel down.
check that it's straight. Place the second hub adhesive side down. Now on this side we'll place a large pulley. Carefully slide it down. We can finish off this side by placing one more bead. Check that it spins freely. Here we'll put one bead. Again, make sure to leave a gap. Then we'll put the large pool. Carefully slide it down the axis. Place the hub with adhesive side out. Next the wheel. And the last hub with adhesive side towards the wheel. and finish it off with one more bead. Now we're going to be making the intermediate accent. Place a small pulley on one end of the dowel. Also place one bead approximately here. This will ensure that the large pulley on the wheel and the small pulley on this axle align. A little later we'll connect them with an elastic band. Now you can see that they are aligned, therefore they can be connected. You can make some adjustments by moving this bead. Next we'll put the large pulley approximately here. Make sure that this pulley is aligned with the drive pulley on the motor. This is our first gear. Mark the spot for the bead. Place the bead on the marked spot. Then place the large pulley. Just if necessary. Place the bead on 
the other side of the pool. And the last bead will go here, on this side. Mark the spot. And now we are going to put the last small pulley. It also has to align with the pulley on the wheel. Now it is time to place one elastic band here. Mount the axle by clicking it in place. As you can see here we have the slots where the axle clicks in. Now stretch the elastic between the large pulley and the driver. We can test how the car works. Turn on the battery and touch the wire tips to the contacts. Turn up the battery and connect the wires to the contacts. Remove the bead. Insert the exposed tip of the wire between the legs of the contact. Wrap it around and place the bead back on. You can also bend the longer leg of the contact to prevent the bead from coming off. Repeat the same steps for the second contact. Make sure only the exposed tips are touching the metal contact. Now the only thing left is to connect our second gear. We'll take the elastic band and connect the small pulley with the large pulley by the wheel. Let's check it. Here we'll put our second elastic. Let's check it again. The car is ready.